Your plane's hydraulics aren't gentle. They run at 3,000 PSI, enough to cut steel, literally. Why push 3,000 pounds per square inch through a jet's veins? Because nothing moves on an airliner without raw hydraulic force. Landing gear, flaps, rudder, they're all powered by pressure levels used in construction cranes. That's enough power to lift 40 tons with a cylinder the size of your arm. Or snap a bolt if you bleed it wrong. Hydraulics don't mess around. They move metal at 500 knots. A tiny pinhole leak can create a mist cannon. High-speed atomized fluid jetting out at knife-like velocity. That's why technicians wear gloves, goggles and face shields around these lines. Modern jets don't just use one system. They've got two, sometimes three. Like the A380, green, yellow and blue hydraulic systems. So if one fails, the other picks up the load. You'd never know. So next time your jet lands smoothly, gear down, spoilers up, brakes biting hard. Remember, you're sitting on a web of hydraulic lines pressurized to 3000 PSI, working flawlessly, even though they're strong enough to cut you in half. That's aviation engineering. Beautiful, terrifying, reliable.